guys. I'm a Tokomon. Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin, aka Husky Mudkips here, and welcome to another episode of our Minecraft Digimobs adventure. That's right guys, got some more Digimobs for you. You seem so excited for the previous episode that we just had to put some more out. So I hope you guys continue to be excited for this because I have a heck of a lot of fun recording these and thinking about ways to make this series a lot more fun. Uh, speaking of ways to make this series a lot more fun, a bunch of you have actually asked me to do some uh, different mods, add, add some different mods to this. And guys, I still want your suggestion for mods to add. Uh, currently, uh, I have decided to add a few. Three, actually, which is a few, but <laughs> I decided to add Tinker's Construct. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's just the one that, you know, we can make new tools with, maybe make a new sword, new pick. Uh, we can still make our old stuff that we'd normally make with, um, I guess we should, we could be doing some stuff while we're doing this. Uh, the... Sorry, Tinker's Construct, it, we can still make our old tools, like, you know, the normal types of hose and whatnot, but we can also make the uh, the new kind, which would be pretty helpful. Uh, but uh, one thing that we also added, which I think you guys are going to be very excited for, oh, I, I guess I, I'll talk about this first. We also added a Vein Miner. That's right, guys, got Vein Miner for you. A lot of you seemed like you really wanted to have it, and you know what? I do too. So we added Vein Miner, but along with that, the third and last thing, which is just, I think, the greatest one, we have added, this is pretty cool, we've added the Morph Mod. Now you might think, oh, the Morph Mod, yeah, I mean, that's kind of neat, but, like, who, who only wants to really turn into, like, you know, normal type of mobs, like creepers and stuff? Guess what, guys? You can turn into Digimobs! <gasps> what the heck?! I'm so excited. You don't even understand how excited I am. <laughs> this is going to be great. This is something I kind of figured out uh, while I was playing around with it. I'm just very, very excited for that. Currently, we're just trying to make ourselves a little bit of food first. Uh, but I think uh, today what I'd like to do is maybe get ourselves a morph while also getting ourselves some more stuff for uh, for catching some Digimobs. Um, and... Uh, along with that, we're going to have to make some new tools, so we should probably get ourselves some iron, uh, because we do need new tools to really take out some of these, uh, some of these Digimobs. They're pretty darn strong. Let's go outside. It's about to be daytime. Hopefully we don't get blown up by the creeper that's right beside our house. Run! We can't run, because I forgot to eat. <laughs> there we go, though. Apparently there is a creeper right beside our house. Am I right? No, there isn't. Huh. Where's that guy? Is he below me? There must be a cave below me. That makes some sense. Um, but yeah, guys, we're going to be doing a tad amount of exploring. Uh, along with that, we're trying to hopefully... Oh, here we go. Tokemon. I think we can defeat him, and I actually really want to do this. Because I want to defeat him first because he might drop something which would be helpful for us. Like he just did. Uh, he dropped another computer chip, and he also dropped a bite. But... Wait, what the heck? Where's... There we go. Guys... I'm a Tokomon. <laughs> How exciting is that? Really tiny. Uh, I mean, it's really not too cool when we're talking about these very small, uh, like the early, early game Digimon, but, or Digimobs, I should say. But once we get to some really, really cool Digimobs, for example, if we get to one of these Angemons, or whatever the heck they're called, that would be so cool. Oh my god, that would be cool. Let me just transform back into myself here really quickly. Oh, we could even transform into a horse. That'd be quick. Um, hmm. Nyaromon. I don't think I've ever fought one of... Oh, yeah, I have fought. These are the guys with the lips. The lip mustaches. Please drop something good. He did not drop anything good. Oh, we just turned into him. It's so cool. Uh, ooh, acorns. Those are used to tame beast Digimon. That's great. How do we find acorns? <laughs> That's a really good question. We should really try and find some acorns. I think it has to do with chopping down trees, but I think the trees have to be tall enough, you know? I think it has to be those types of trees. I'm st like, I'm, I'm pretty unsure on some of this stuff, you guys understand, uh, because it's just kind of some complicated stuff. I mean, it's a new mod for me, something new that I have to learn a whole bunch about. I really hope you guys understand that, like, a lot of this is me just learning how to play the game, learning, learning you know, what's going on in Digimon, because... I don't really know, guys. I'm pretty pretty new to this whole, all this stuff, you know? We're just going to murderize this Tokemon again. Uh, oh, and 
I did make a mistake. Apparently, these computer chips we got aren't actually used uh, to catch the uh, electronic or computer type uh, digimobs. They're used to make things such as digivices, which are used to transform, uh, I shouldn't say transform, but digivolve certain Digimon. You can make different types, like the Digivice 01, you know, make all these weird ones. It just keep kind of keeps on going. Uh, you can also use it to smelt and create a packet which can use to make chips that, um, ooh, that's kind of cool. You can use it to make chips, which will allow you to get some different, uh, different stats, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, but really what we have to do, I'm thinking is maybe, oh, you know what we could do? This is something I'd like to do. We should make, hmm, we, we're going to have to find some resources to do this, though. I would like to find some iron. Oh, my God. I'm just so all over the place. I don't really know what to do today. I already got a morph. I'm super excited about that. We really do need to find some iron, though. Maybe we should go on a little bit of an iron adventure. Check underground. Check in caves. Try and find some caves. That kind of stuff. Uh, because I think caves are probably going to be our best bet for that. Let me see. We got this. Oh, I forgot we had charcoal in there. <laughs> probably should have, uh, you know, paid a little bit of attention, maybe. Let's make ourselves some more pickaxes here because we're going to need a couple more uh, if we're going to be going underground at least. Here we go. Boom, boom. Got some two new pickaxes. We should put away some of this right here real quick. I think that's a decent idea. Oh, I did want to ask you guys about something. One thing I was thinking about doing, and I want I want to know if you guys are interested in this, is maybe having every episode we do a couple lucky blocks or something. I think that could be kind of fun, just as like a, a little, um, just something fun to do, you know? Not something super serious or anything, it's not like, you know, we'll try to use these lucky blocks to get ahead. But I was thinking it could be fun to maybe do like two lucky blocks for an episode. I, I, I really don't know though. I want to hear what you guys have to say. What we're going to do now though, do a little bit of exploring. I'm going to try and find our way into an underground cave of some sort. Uh, and hopefully that will allow us to uh, get our butts some iron. Because there should be an... Oh, there we go. No, that's not a... Let's find a cave. Let's do it. Let's get some iron. Alrighty, guys. We are right beside... Actually, right beside our place. I didn't even realize. But we had a cave here. A big old ravine. It's right beside us. It looks as though there's some creepers and stuff. I think I saw a skeleton just a second ago. But I'm, I'm going to try and ignore him for now. I think we're going to try and get down here using... Wait. Oh, no. I put them all away. Okay, we hurt ourselves. That's no big deal. But we're going to see if we can grab some of this. What is this? Red Digizoid. Oh, this is used. Let's look this up. Red Digizoid. There. Oh, where is it? Where's Red Digizoid? Whoa, what's this? Oh, Tinkers. I was like, what the heck is this? Uh, uses. You can use this to make data link digivices. How cool is that, huh? Uh, these are all used to make different things. So there's the blue as well. Oh, yeah, here. Blue Digizoid, Gold Digizoid, and Black Digizoid. That can make a Digizoid pickaxe. How do we make that? I guess we probably find it, huh? Uh, but yeah, you can use it to make all sorts of cool tools. Uh, is there a sword? No, there isn't a sword. But, uh, whoa, there's two. Oh, they're just the same. Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of cool, huh? I think we need to get iron to grab that, though. So let's try and find some iron. It looks as though there's some over there. Is that? That looks like an evil Digimon. Digimob, I should say. Maybe we should try and get him. Let's just grab ourselves. Oh, that was a lot of coal. <laughs> we grabbed this. It's a new Numemon. Okay, he looks a little bit evil. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just jumped off the edge. Uh, oh, uh, these guys fighting. Oh no, that little Chumon. He's right by the fire. Poor guy. I don't know what type Chumon is. I might have to look that up. Hey, you know what? Ah, what the heck? You deserve to fall, you butt. How rude. Ooh, we can actually murderize this Chumon right here. You guys feel like some murder? Whoa, he looks evil. Okay, Chumon, you're going down, buddy. I, I guess literally. It's okay, you landed in water, you're fine. Whoa, Gatsumon, you look evil too. Let's actually look up one of these. Let's look up, uh, let's look up Chumon first. Where's the search? I'm trying to find the search. <laughs> Chumon. Look this up. Chumon. He is, oh, Chumon's a beast. Okay, he has an ice bug element. Uh, he is a uh, rookie Digimon, so he is actually pretty high up there uh, because it goes, if you guys didn't realize, is that a, that's just an Enderman. It goes um, baby in training rookie, I think. Uh, this is a Digivolve from uh, Pagumon, which is a pretty uh, interesting looking one. Um, it evolves into Sukumon or Numamon, who I think, have we seen the Numamon before? I think we might have saw one. Basically, we're just going to go and 
use that. Ooh, almost fell. A little bit frightened there for a second. Oh, it's a Padam. You know what? Let's look up Padamon. Because we've fought a bunch of these <laughs> and lost every time. Padamon. What are you? Oh, I spelt that wrong, didn't I? Oh, it's Padamon. My bad. Padamon. What type of Padam is Padamon? So Padamon is a rookie. He's a holy. So the only way we're going to get this guy, he's evolved form of uh, from Tokomon, sorry. Uh, the only way we're going to get him is by destroying other uh, holy types, and I think really we got to start destroying stronger ones if we want uh, the uh, want to get more chances at the items that allow us to capture other Digimobs. So got to keep that in mind, guys. Actually, I think if we do this, put that right there, we should be good. It should hopefully cook all of the iron. Uh, but at least this way, now we're gonna get enough for a sword, maybe, <laughs> and then a pickaxe, and we can also get ourselves uh, that weird digizoid stuff. So I'm going to cook this up real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we got our tools. Let's hop back in here, hopping in. I want to see if I can get some of that digizoid, yo. I want to get some digizoid. Oh, ooh. oh, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> can we mine some of it now? Eh? Wait, let me see if I can just mine one piece quick before I try and vein mine the whole thing and just don't. Yes, we can. Time to vein mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how it works. It's like, oh, can I mine this? Yep. Vein mine. Hey. Hello. There we go. Got ourselves some of that as well. We do have magnet mode on for those of you curious as to how we're able to do this so easily. Uh, one thing I want to do though, maybe light up the light up the way a little bit, you know, just so we don't get so, uh, oh, you butt crack. You trying to hop on me? Here, get over here. I dare you. I dare you. Come closer. Yeah, that's right, punk. Yeah, come on. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Yeah. Hey, come on, let me hit you. Eh? No. What about... Oh, come here. Yeah, that's right, punk. One more hit. I dare you. Come on. Eh? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, at least I'm alive. That's very helpful. I'm alive. Okay. There's some gold Digizoid over there that I saw. I kind of want to go for that. That seems cool. Uh, good thing we have keep inventory on. That's about all I can say. Because if we die down here, I'll be very sad. But, ooh, some gold. Let's grab it. Grab it up. Hopefully it breaks just like the other stuff does and doesn't actually just break and disappear because that would stink. That zombie's burning up. I can I can hear him. I can smell him even. Yes, we got it. Okay, we didn't need to vein mine it though. <laughs> oh, what's up zombies? You guys burn into death? That's what I thought, punks. Is this... Oh, that's blue digisoid. I thought that was uh, obsidian for a second. I was very confused. <laughs> I was like, what the heck's going on here, huh? What's happening? Oh, there's some iron there too. I know I'm just getting some basic stuff, guys, but, I mean, iron's kind of cool. Nice. We got that. Perfecto. Now, let's see. We have these tools. There's some, some more gold up there. What can we combine both of those to make? Blue and red. Oh, looks like we can just kind of make the same things as before. Ooh. Riding glove. Used for rideable Digimon? No way. Awesome. Where do we get the, the black Digizoid, though? That's what I want to know. Let me, I'm going to take a quick little gander. We're going to see where we get some black Digimobs, or Digizoid. I'll see you guys in a second. So, guys, I ended up looking it up, and I found out that the gold and black Digizoid is pretty much found, uh, oh my gosh, there's another piece I should have just vein mined. Uh, they're pretty much found with the same frequency. They're both very uncommon. However, uh, the, what's it, what am I trying to say? Oh, the, the gold and the black, unless you have, uh, a mining level of at least gold or yeah gold level which would be approximately I think it's diamond is like the equivalent or I guess if I'm uh, you know using tinkers it probably be a little bit better but um, if you have uh, a pick that that's like that uh, you will be able to mine it faster or you need to have a pick that's like that that's like at the same level as gold uh, slash I think diamond uh, to mine quicker so iron is gonna take oh I forgot I entirely forgot I had Vein Miner on. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Uh, but yeah, since the gold is so rare, I figure, you know what? We're, we're going to need it anyways. Let's just grab all of the stuff that we can. So we're just going to fly up here real quick. Get right up to the top. Oh, oh shoot. I was one of... What? Oh, you. You. Yeah, I'm not even dealing with you anymore. The other guy just kept running away from me like a butt. Very rude of him. Ooh. And Nyaramon. Oh yeah, this one. I want to see what he what he did evolves to. Oh cool. So Nyaramon is a uh, he's a holy type, and he did evolves into Salamon, who ends up did evolving into uh, uh, I can't remember Gatomon. 
and black ghetto mon. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so if we hopefully if we take out enough of these guys, we'll maybe be able to get a single type of the uh, of the holy stuff. Ah, apparently we can't, man. It's taking forever. <laughs> We're just gonna throw some of this in here real quick while it's nighttime. We got a butt ton of coal thanks to Vein Miner. I love Vein Miner. We'll just throw a butt ton of coal in there. Why not, right? Who cares? Uh, and we're just going to kind of wait it out until daytime. And I'm going to, I mean, I'm trying to figure out how to capture a Digimon. Because I'm getting super tired and not being able to do so. Oh, yeah, we have a bed. Ain't that great? <laughs> so now, now we're sleeping. Now it's going to be daytime. But I'm just, I'm getting super tired of this nonsense, man. How am I able to uh, get much other than a single acorn to capture another Digimob? And... I don't even know when the heck we got the acorn. I think we must have got it when we were breaking down the uh, the spruce trees, but I'm still a little bit unsure, man. They're hard to find. Hmm, where the heck are those acorns? Oh, wh wh what? What the heck's going on over there? I, I'm try I'm sorry. I'm just kind of joking around. I actually have no idea what's happening though. I was looking around for acorns. Uh, if you can tell, our last house, our house is kind of over in that direction. Uh, but I was looking around for acorns and. I kind of got a little lost and I ended up on this mountain and then I saw whatever the heck this is up ahead. So let's go and take a look because I'm very, oh, I'm very confused. Let's go take a quick little look. I have no idea what type of uh, biome this is. Hopefully if we hit F3 while we're in there, we'll be able to, well, don't, no, nope. I was about to say don't want to jump down here, but apparently, uh, never mind. Uh oh, we got to get out of here. There are, there are things coming after us. <laughs> okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm good. What? <gasps> it's made out of... <gasps> no way. Is this one of the mechanical... Let me see. Machine... This is the machine biome, guys. Do you want to fight? I don't want to fight you, uh, Toy Agumon. That looks... So, he looks so cool. He's like Legos. Oh, my gosh. It's an Agumon who's Legos. Agumon is really cool. I like... Uh, Agumon is... Uh, I mean, he, is he one of the ones that transforms into, oh, what's that? What? Whoa. It's like a bug thing Ma machine. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I want him. I want him. I want to be you. I want to be you. We're going to transform into you. <gasps> and he dropped computer chips. Great. Let's transform into him real quick. Uh, I was saying something about Agumon, but I kind of forgot what I was saying. So uh, that's a Kokuomon. Cool. Cool. Let's grab all this free digi, uh, digizoids, because this is awesome. Maybe, maybe we'll grab it? Yeah, let's grab it. Let me see. I don't even care about the blue. We got plenty of blue back home. Yeah, we got plenty of blue. Let's grab it. <laughs> I wonder if we can find gold and black digizoids on top here, because we're in the machine biome. I wonder. Let's take a look around real quick, because this, this is just neat, guys. This is really neat. I'm pretty short. Oh, it's a Hagurumon. That guy looks crazy. <laughs> he looks crazy. I love it. I love. It. We're really short. We gotta. We gotta fix this. I want to be myself again. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm. I'm having issues. Oh, we're. We're good now. <laughs> I was having issues, but I'm good now. Taking a look around. Any more cool stuff? Whoa. No, nothing over. Whoa. There's another toy Agumon. I'm assuming. Was it? Is it Agumon? I'm thinking of. I'm really unsure. Is it another one of those? Uh, this is a Missimon. We're going to just take out all of these ones because they're pretty weak and hopefully they drop more computer chips. <gasps> Wait a second. Virus data. Oh, shoot. That's used to make virus. Whoa. Excuse me? What the heck kind of biome is this? What the heck? Oh, is this evil? Are we in an evil place? <gasps> Candlemon. Are you like a candle? You look like a slot machine more than anything. I don't know if I want to pull your lever, though. That's a weird joke. Don't worry about that joke. That dude on fire... That dude looks like fire. This is a Demi Marimon. I'm assuming he's a, like a baby version of this big... Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, shoot! I've got attacked from behind! I'm out! Candlemon's attacking me now. I got too close to their babies. I got way too close to their baby. You guys still coming? No, okay. Wow. Oh, shoot. Is there a lot of coal in this place or something? Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Oh, I think I actually read about this. It's uh, it's specific. Oh, no. Our pick's out. We don't have any more pickaxe. <laughs> but uh, I read about that a little bit. Apparently, this area, with all the netherrack. Let's see. Oh, we can't actually mass break it with our, uh, with our coal here. But apparently, underneath it, for like a level or so, there is uh, a bunch of... A heck of a lot. Whoa, is that a black digizoid back there? A heck of a lot of coal. Uh, no, it wasn't. There's something in there, though. 
You're cute, Kapurimon. You're really cute. Wow, this is so cool. We have found a machine biome. And oh, I didn't even see what this one was called. It's called the volcano biome. That makes a ton of sense, you know? That makes a heck of a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, Toyagumon, you're pretty cool, man. You're really cool. Let's head home real quick. Hopefully get some new picks. And I don't even know what to do. This is just so neat. So I just realized that this video is getting to be pretty darn long. However, that doesn't stop me from finding a lucky block on the side of this mountain while I'm walking back to the uh, the machine biome. So we're going to pop it. Ooh, hopefully uh, we don't get in too much trouble. Eh? 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 Let's break it. Oh, shoot. Golden apples, baby. Oh, damn. Look at us. Oh, darn. Look at us. This is great. I'm so happy. But yeah, guys, this video is getting quite a bit longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, we are going to be heading to the machine biome, but... Oh, we're almost going to die. Uh, <laughs> but I think we will be ending it right here. Uh, we've done a whole bunch this episode. Showed off some of the new mods we've added. I haven't really looked at Tinkers, but I think most people have probably looked at Tinkers in the past, huh? Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> I did get to see a little bit of the morph mod. I got to show off some of that, which is a lot of fun. Actually, you know what? For the last little bit of this video, I want to try something. I want to try battling this Toy Agumon. And to do it, we're going to use a golden apple, baby. <laughs> we don't have any armors, so I mean, whatever. Let's battle. Let's go. Toy Agumon, you're going to take it down. Uh-oh. Is that guy trying to come MS? No, I don't think so. Toy Agumon. <laughs> Get taken out, punk. Get taken out. Yeah. I didn't even need to use uh didn't even need to use a gold. Now let's take out Coco Woman. Coco Woman. Coco Woman. Coco Woman. I don't even know how to say his name properly, but we're taking him out. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So yeah, guys. Oh, we got a virus chip. Cool. We can make viruses. I'm so excited. We got a megabyte. Whoa, yo. Megabytes are bigger than bytes. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I hope you all have enjoyed and hope you all are excited for another new episode coming out sometime soon. If you want to see some more, make sure you guys leave some love on the video, yo. Make sure you leave some of that love. This guy looks awesome, Gagomon. Uh, make sure you leave love. Hit that little thumbs up button down below for me and etc. Other than that, though, we are going to be seeing or saying, uh, you know, goodbye for now. I love you all. Hope you all have enjoyed. And I'm gonna just, I'm just, there, we, um, there, yep, there we go. And cool, we got a case. I'll see you in the next one. Did that, you?